And this is a replay of video shot from inside one of the search and recovery helicopters uh, that did in fact make it down uh, to uh, the landing site. Uh, there are a dozen uh, such helicopters uh, comprising the search and recovery forces. Uh, to the best of our knowledge, only two of those helicopters actually landed. And you're seeing a video replay of uh, the Soyuz uh, having landed upright. <laughs> And now uh, we're looking uh, at the first of the crew members being extracted from the vehicle. We believe that that is, uh, should be the uh, Soyuz commander, Oleg Novitsky. Just be careful. Let's put him here. And you're looking at Kevin Ford, uh, the Expedition 34 commander, who was the second crew member to uh, be extracted from the Soyuz vehicle. Being uh, bundled up against uh, the extreme uh, frigid temperatures on a Saturday morning at the landing site. And Evgeny Tarelkin now out. All of the crew members have been extracted from the Soyuz vehicle. Slide down. Happy return. Welcome back. Welcome back. Give the flowers to the flight engineer. Thank you. Happy return to Earth. This is our traditional hat, Chaban. Uh, our chocolates from Kostanai. <laughs> to remember our uh, land, the land of Kostanai. 
Thank you very much. Good job. That's it. Oh, you guys. <laughs> well, Kevin, uh, welcome back home. First of all, just let us know how you're feeling. Well, I feel like I've been off the planet for 145 days, so gravity uh, gravity is really, really feels strong right now. Things feel heavy. Even things you hold in your hand feel really heavy. But, uh, and, and, and a little, little dizziness you get because uh, my vestibular system's not used to used to having a gravity vector, but otherwise I'm feeling pretty good. So tell us, what was your first reaction when you found out you got an extra day in space and you guys couldn't come home as planned? <laughs> well, that that was uh, a jubilation because uh, it was a win-win situation. And when I uh, started that day, we knew we had a chance we might not come home because we'd heard the weather was bad. So I said, you know, an extra day in space is great. A Soyuz ride today is great. So it's, a, it's just a good thing. And it, and it was mostly free time for me, so it was really nice. So you guys uh, set a record for the amount of science that you did on board the space station. You uh, you broke the record in terms, of, in terms of number of hours spent. Talk about a little bit about what you guys worked on. What are you going to remember about your expedition and the science that you worked on? Well, on board, uh, I tell you, a really pleasant surprise for me was to get to see uh, what's going on on board. You know, I did it, but I didn't design it. Scientists uh, sent up procedures and the equipment, and we would pull stuff out of lockers and do it. And uh, we we just did a lot of really cool stuff from from the fish that went up and came down with us, the Madaka fish for osteoporosis study, uh, to you know how fluids behave in microgravity, to these. Uh, Rio mag magnetic fluids and stuff that we got to experiment with, and to get to see it in zero gravity is really, really cool. So, it made a big impression. Was it everything you expected in terms of living on board? You've been to station before, but you get to live there this time. So, is it is it what you expected? Yeah, I think you know it, it was uh, it was really a, a pleasant surprise and really fun to do. Uh, I slept well on board. You know, you get used to a routine. And uh, being on board for a while, you, you go through some evolutions. Uh, for, for the first part of it, it's, it's like you're new to space. And then, then you learn some tricks about you know, forgetting which way is up and turning a wall into a floor and that sort of thing. And then after a while, you don't even care where the walls and floors are anymore. You just, you just live in there. So it's, uh, it's really neat to, to spend some time there. It's good to have you back. Yeah, thank you. It's great, it's great to be back. It's great to be back.